If you press this button here, the L will go inside in your jacket. And then that's the time you're gonna be positive. If positive. the diamond, yes, positive. If the diamond is trying to go down, this means you need to release the air by pulling this button on the top. And then that's the time you're gonna slowly going down. So we are not always gonna find any knowledge about your equipment. Yes. So for example, when you finish the dive, and then someone asking you like, what equipment did you use? So you can answering them like BCD or buoyancy control device. Buoyancy controlling yes. device. Any question to be answered? So in your left side, you can see how many air you have in your tank. So guys, please double check if you have a full tank air. Full tank air, it must be 180 to 200 bar. Okay. If you can see right now, it's 150. So it's not full tank. It's not full tank. If it's a bit, it means if 150, you can complain to so your master ask. that the master will gonna give you another tank to okay. have full tank air. 180. That's why you can stay long like 35 to 40 minutes underwater because you have a full tank air. Okay. So you are very lucky in this dive shop because what we do, one tank for one dive. Because some dive shop here, what they are doing is three times. They are using for three times. For example, when you finish and someone gonna use it again. Mm. So it might be only like 10, 15 minutes and Race. then someone will gonna use it again. And gonna, yes. They save, uh, they saving air or they saving their own rest. But for us, we always giving you 100, uh, 180 to 200 bar to make it sure that it's gonna be like 35, 40 minutes time. And then of course, it's gonna be safe if you have a full tank air. Yeah. Okay, any question to be answered with it? Sorry, what's the full? Um, good level for all. 180 to 200 bar. Okay. For example, if someone will giving you 120 or 130, we can complain. You can complain like you have a knowledge like sir. Alam ko Should na yan. be this. So for example, next holiday you're gonna type again, and someone giving you 120. No, it's not full. No, time. you need to smile with them like what the fuck, dude? I know it's 100 to 200 bar. They get a point. So if you can see 50 bar, it's red. Red na siya. It's only a caution or red is 50. It's only a caution or warning that's a time that we need to going up. But please don't start yourself when you reach 50. Still, you can bring in probably 10 minutes more. Because for example, you are like 50 meters away from the boat. And then you reach 50 bar. And then you want to come up. It might be there's a boat gonna be passed by because oh. we have a lot of island hopping boat, jet ski, banana boat, whatever. It might be gonna pass by and then it's gonna hit you. So even you have 50 bars, still you can manage to go in back to the boat and then we need to come up to our boat. Okay? So sabihin po ba na, are we going to... The dive masters always check your equipment. Okay, okay. So before you can running out of air, ibig sabihin nakikita na din uh, dive master kung ilang hangin mo. That's why I'm trying to explain to you at least you have a knowledge. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, you're gonna jump into the water and someone giving you only 90 bar. Wala kayong knowledge eh. So right now you have a knowledge, it must be 180 to 200 bar. To make it sure it's gonna be full tank air. Any question, ma'am? No. So we will go in your right side. Uh, in your right side, you have two houses again. Uh, the black one we call it primary, and then the yellow one is the secondary. Primary means this is the one that you are using, and if someone need help, this is the secondary that you will give. Mm -hmm. So earlier we are talking 50 bar. Yes. So for example, 50 bar and suddenly there's a turtle. Of course, you need to stay long because like you see a turtle, pick some picture, whatever. So, and then suddenly you're running out of air or you cannot fit anymore, or you have zero. So that's the time the dive master will give you the secondary while the dive master using the primary. Mm -hmm. So next holiday, for example, you're gonna dive again, and one of these is missing. For example, you dive and it's only one. Means you have a knowledge right now that it must be two. Means you, need, for example, like sir, I know that must be two. By why it's only one. So there's no chance, or oh, you have a chance that you're gonna go out in the dive shop because for the safety purposes. Okay? Next, but later on, guys, I want you to bring in in your primary and then try to bring in also in the secondary. Why? It might be gonna hard to you to bring in, but smooth to you to bring in in the secondary it means just, just use the secondary. Okay? So, kite, I didn't any of the two. That's why you need to double check if okay. everything is work. For example, black one is good, the yellow one is good. It's up to you what you're gonna use. Okay. okay you need to decide like, okay, because uh, the yellow is good color, I can use the uh, yellow. But the black is good color, I can use the black one. But it's not about the color, huh? It's, it's about, about to bring in and bring out smoothly. Okay? Any question to be answered? Wala. Pag walang tanong, 
if you have it in slowly and deeply. Please also don't try to breathe shallow. Shallow means that not enough air into the lungs, like make it sure that the air is going to go into lungs. Once the air is going to go into lungs, that's the time you can exhale as well. Please also don't try to breathe twice. Breathe twice means they're going to stop in the middle and they're going to breathe in again. Like, oh. It's only one breath in and one breath out. One breath in and one breath out. Okay? Any question to be asked about the breathing? Wala. If you don't have any question, we will go in the air to blow. So for example, again, your very good friend swimming with your hand. Suddenly or accidentally, he tap again and turn out in your mouth. But this time you excel. When you said excel, it means you don't have any air to blow. Yes. That's the time you're gonna press this button here. But before you're gonna press this button here, make it sure your tongue will gonna cover first. And then that's the time you're gonna press. Because the, if you're never covering it, it means the salt water will gonna go straight into your mouth. So again, breathe in, practice up, breathe in, breathe tense the body, okay? Pull it back, down, press. The salt water will come out and that's the time it's going be clear to you okay. to breathe in and breathe out again. You can press once or twice, but don't try to press too long. Because once you're going to press too long and you're wearing your mask, so it's going to create big bubbles when you press it too long. It might be the bubbles will going to push your mask, it might be going to deform into your face. So the idea is to press once or twice yes. to make sure the salt water will come out and that's the time it's going to be clear to you to breathe in and breathe out again. Any questions to be answered? So guys, uh, for example guys, you are doing the actual dive. And then suddenly, because later on there's a guy we're going to take a picture. So suddenly you smile. So there's a salt water inside. It's up to you guys what you're going to do. You want to blow or do you want to the press? Because in the actual life, no one telling you what to do because you're done already the practice. Okay, any question to be answered? So we will go with your mask clearing. Mask clearing, it might be happen that the water will go inside in your mask. Did anyone put sunscreen in their face? I did. I did. Did you put sunscreen? A sunscreen? Yes, perfect. So sunscreen means because sunscreen is oil and it's a rubber, it might be the water will go inside in your mask. So once you have a water into your mask, don't panic, it's organic. <laughs> so what you're gonna do, you need to hold your mask in your face. Just only hold it, mm -hmm. chin up. When you chin up, the water go below and that's the time you need to blow your nose. Mm. Okay. Okay, I can explain more. So that's why you're gonna hold your mask because you're gonna blow a little bit harder from your nose. Just imagine if I'm not holding my mask and I'm gonna blow from my nose, it might be gonna pull up and it will be deform your face. And then that's the time you cannot play more from them. So please don't try to push it up or try to push it down. You just only hold it. So the idea is to blow into your nose because we want that the air from your nose will gonna be full of air into your mask. Once the air is in here, that's the time it's gonna be push the water to come out. Okay? Please don't try to put small air like hmm, hmm. Even thousand times you do it because it's not enough air. That's why we need to breathe in on your mask. Tap your mask, blow to your nose. And then that's the time the air from the nose will push the water to come out. Okay? No question, I know. So, tip of our nose is quite sensitive. Means into the drop of salt water, really you're gonna feel there's a water in your mask. But if the dive mask is like this, it means you don't have any water in the glass, it might be only tip of your nose. Because a drop of salt water, you cannot remove it or you cannot clear it. As long you breathe in and breathe out through your mouth, there's yes. nothing problem with it. If okay. even it's going to be full of water here. Okay. Okay? So if the dimaster sign like this, it means he's trying to remind you that you need to blow through your nose. Because some students, what they do, they try to blow through their mouth. Of course, the water, uh, the water is going to stay in your mouth. That's why you need to remind you that you need to blow through your nose. Any question to be answered, guys? Blow to your nose. Yes. Remind you. Okay? Any question? No. Are you sure? So if you don't have a question, we will go to the last part of your skills. When we go down, there's a pressure underwater. Pressure means all air in your body is going to be squeezed because of the water pressure. There's a three part of your body have air space. The first one is your lungs. Have air space. That's why we need to continuous breathing to equalize your lungs. The third one, you can, you can uh, the, third, uh, the second one, your mask have air space. 
That's why time to time also you need to gently blow your nose to equalize mm -hmm. your mask. And then the last part of your uh, the part of that hub uh, airspace is your sinuses. So when the plane is going up or going high altitude, you feel discomfort with your ear. By the way, guys, that's not in your ear, that's in your sinuses. So there's a three way to release the pressure from your sinuses. The first one is gently pinch your nose, gently blow into it, and you feel it's gonna pump into your ear. Can you please try it? Pinch your nose, blow gently into it, and it's gonna be pump filled. Yeah, I did it. You feel it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. That's the way you're gonna use the pinch. The second one, you can wiggle your jaw. And also you can equalize. And the third one, you can swallow saliva. And also you can equalize. So yeah. our body is different. Some people, they want to do the pinch. Some people, they swallow. And some people, they wiggle. Yeah. So it's up to you guys. There's a three way to release the pressure. Every one meter, we need to equalize. For example, the dive size can be starts 5 meters, this means you need to have 5 times to equalize. Please, once you feel the pressure, please do it early as possible. Please don't try to wait, it's going to be painful. Mm -hmm. So for example, because you are so excited to go down, you go down at 3 meters. Mm -hmm. But suddenly you forgot to equalize at 2 meters, means the pressure in the 3 meters is not balanced anymore. Yeah. It's going to be hurt. So what you're going to do, you need to come up. A meter higher to balance the pressure and there's a part that you need to equalize. Please don't try to go down again at 4 meters. That's why some people when they finish the dive, they have a blood nose. Because they speak too much English. Kuya, you're bleeding. So uh, every time you're gonna feel the pressure, please do it as early as possible. Every meter? Ready, every meter po? Every meter, yes. You're gonna, the, the, the meter is only a Paano po namin malalaman? Parang ano yan, parang love. Nararamdaman mo siya, pero hindi mo siya may explain. Oh my God! <laughs> so, once you're gonna feel the, mapifilm mo yan, mapifilm mo. Ah, mapifilm mo yung pressure, pressure, then you need to equalize. Yes, that's the time you need to equalize. So, as long you feel the pressure, please do it earlier as possible. Please don't try to wait, it's gonna be painful. Sinaktan ka na nga eh. Mabalikan mo pa. <laughs> So once oh you feel the God. pressure, for example, di ka di ka ma-equalize, akat ka ulit para mabalas yung pressure. Nandiyan na sa time. So we have also, uh, there's a calling uh, trap air. Trap air, ibig sabihin, it might be happen na uh, your right ear is doing good, but, but your left ear is a trap air inside. So what you're gonna do, you need to tilt in your right if you are trapping with your left. Because once you're gonna tilt, it means the airway is gonna be expand. Trap air means it's gonna be easy to come up. Of course, if you have a problem here, you need to tilt another side. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have both problems, okay, thank you. Okay, any questions to be answered? So by the way guys, uh, we are using a dry air. Dry air means probably five, seven minutes dive, your mouth or your throat gonna be dry. So what you're gonna do, you need to play your tongue, make some saliva. Mm -hmm. Once you have the saliva, that's the time you're gonna swallow it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have any saliva, let me know. I will give you some. <laughs> Open your mouth. Okay. Any question to be answered, guys? No question? No question? Wala. So if you don't make uh, any question, we will go with your communication underwater. Communication underwater means we are using our course, we cannot talk. So, time to time, the time master is asking you, are you okay? This is the okay sign underwater. Okay sign. Okay. If you have any problem, you need to sign a problem sign. And then I want you to point what problem you have. For example, I have a problem in my right ear. Please don't try to show a problem sign but you never point what problem you have. Mm -hmm. How can the time master will gonna help you if you don't know the problem? Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna sign like this and point your heart, <laughs> the time master will go and gonna help you. <laughs> to comfort you. Okay? Guys, please don't try to mix the sign of this. Underwater, this is the sign of going up. But on the land, this is okay sign on the land, but underwater, this is going up, go down, left side, right side, stop, inhale, exhale. Okay, slowly. Any question to be answered? <laughs> What's the okay sign again? Underwater. <laughs> but once you have a problem, huh, please do. For example, you are down, you are okay, but 
There's something wrong. Okay. <laughs> You're okay, but something wrong. It's not 100% okay. So later on, guys, uh, please, in the end, the Thai Master will be asking you, like, Mom, Sir, are you comfortable enough to do the boat dive? Please answering them honestly. Mm -hmm. Because once you have a small problem in the shallow, when you do the boat dive, it's going to be create big problem. Once you have a small question, please ask question to your Thai Master. And the Thai Master will be answering you. Okay. Ilang, di ilang dive masters po ang kasama namin? So, because you are six student, you have uh, three professional with you and then one photographer. So, next. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> May tanong po. So, one dive for two people. No. So, three guys, dive uh, masters. One dive master for two people. Exactly. We are six. Two, four, six. So, one dive master for the two of us. Yes. 